Hey guys, SinoG Gaming and Tech here, bringing you another video, and this time it's going to be on the Nexus 4. Now, Nexus 4 is running Lollipop now. Most of you should have already got the update for it if you have a Nexus 4 and other Nexus devices. Um, it's bringing a lot of great things, and I think it's the best Android update to ever come out. Now, I have done a video before um, talking about the Nexus 7 2013 running Lollipop, so a lot of these things are going to be mostly the same. But I do want to show you guys uh, some of the uh, apps here, the redesigns and the recent apps menu and everything like that. Uh, Lollipop's been great, I mean, you get material design, which is a really great thing. And um, our Android runtime, which should make everything run much more smoother. And as well as Project Volta, which should help a bit with the battery life. So all these great things, making the OS feel much, much more nicer. And yeah, guys. Um, so yeah, let's go uh, dig into some apps here. Before I actually do that, uh, okay Google. So yeah, you guys can still data from the uh, home screen right there, so that's nice. Um, let's, guys, so let's go into the settings right here. Settings has been redesigned. Really, really nice. So you guys can see 5.0. I'm not going to play Flappy Android. I'm terrible at it. Uh, Play Store. Now, Play Store... Uh, you should have already gotten the Play Store update for Material Design, even if you're on KitKat. So most of you probably already have this, even if you're on KitKat. Um, Google Plus. And you guys can see how fast these apps are opening. Now, this is really good because of these devi this device is two years old, but apps open up much more faster now because of Android runtime, which is great. Like I said, I think Android runtime's um, the be the thing I like the most about Android Lollipop. Because it's making these devices much more smoother, even the older devices. This is two years old, the Nexus 4. And it should make, um, you know, the cheaper devices like the Moto G, Moto E, even though they're cheap, they can still run nice and smooth because of Lollipop. So this is just great, right? So let's go into some more app redesigns. Um, calculator. Um, here, I want to show you guys something cool about here. So if you go, let's say you have 77 plus 2. You don't have to click the equals button anymore, it just shows it up here. So you guys can see 79, you don't even have to click the equals button anymore, so I found that a nice touch. Um, let's go into the clock. No, the clock, I think clock looks mostly the same. Yeah, clock looks mostly the same, but the status bar changes colors to fit the app, which is nice. Um, let's see here, calendar calendar has definitely been redesigned um, now you have uh, different things for different colors for different months so Google's done a nice job on that it's got all your birthdays and events alright so guys I want to show you guys here let's show another app here oh yeah of course you guys want to see the dialer so here is the dialer as you guys can see that little animation right there really really nice So yeah guys, um, so yeah guys, a lot has changed in the terms, the ways apps look, it's much more nicer. Now I want to talk about, um, battery life. Now, um, if you guys have the Nexus 4, you want to know, did the battery life improve? Now, the question, the answer is, yes, it did, but not that much, honestly. Um, I got like around three hours of screen on time today from using it and I did charge it a little bit right now just to make the video on it and it was around three hours but um, there's this cool thing now um, Project Volta has added which is a battery saver mode now I'm going to the battery saver here and turn it on now what the battery saver does is uh, pretty much lowers the performance of your phone so it also as you guys can see here it reduces vibration noise, uh, background data, so stuff like that, and also uh, I'm guessing underclocks the processor, and also right here, it gets rid of the animation. So I don't know why exactly. I mean, this, do animations really uh, take up performance? But animations are gone now. So if you like go in here, and there's no more animations. So I guess it instantly opens, but it's not gonna run as fast when you have this mode on. So, 
let's turn it off here so guys if you guys want to save some battery by the end of the day when your phone is low and you gotta make like a phone call you don't wanna you don't want your phone to die so this is really nice okay guys so here is the recent apps menu now this is really nice uh, it's like a deck of cards now and it looks really nice um, I like navigating through it and also let's say you're in Chrome All right, let's say I go CSGO launch right here and I want to go to a new tab I click new tab right here takes me to a new tab and now I have these two tabs in my recent apps menu so I'm not sure if you guys like that me personally I don't know what to think of that I really like the you had uh, all your tabs when you're in Chrome in the Chrome app itself um, not sure how I feel about this I mean it's not that bad but it's not really something that I'm all crazy about so yeah guys uh, just navigating back here the phone's just so smooth really really like what art is doing very impressed so guys uh, my final verdict so if you have a Nexus 4 um, definitely get Android Lollipop, I mean, why wouldn't you? And you will be really, really happy with this two-year-old device you can still do. It's amazing. Um, gotta say congratulations, Google, on doing what you did with this update, and yeah. So guys, it's been SinoG Gaming and Tech here. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would like to see more content like this. I also make gaming videos. So yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like. And yeah, guys, also, um... If you have any suggestions for what I should do in the future, leave a comment down below. That will be great. Peace.